In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about my uh, stepper motor based wind generator which you'll see here we've got functioning quite nicely. What we have here is a 120 ohm resistor and a nice little sunset red LED. We have two 220 microfarad capacitors and we've got uh, two bridge rectifiers made out of 1N4004 diodes. On here we have a stepper motor as you'll see in the uh, original material posted on Thingiverse. Um, the white wire here is actually the common wire which we've ignored and it's, this is a common negative uh, or a common coil. Uh, where are we? We've got two pairs of coils center tapped with a common. So we've ignored the common and we've tapped off each pair of coils goes into each bridge rectifier on its own. So we're looking here, in this case, if we look from our original plug, it goes from left to right. Our white is our common, our brown and our orange are one pair, and our red and yellow are the other pair. Now, one pair here goes to, when this camera autofocuses, it would be very, very nice, thank you. One pair goes into these two, which feeds into the bridge rectifier, charges that capacitor. Second pair feeds into this bridge rectifier and then feeds the capacitor. The outputs are then series connected because we get we should get at optimal voltage we should get 3.8 volts per coil, which adds up to around about 15 volts if it's running flat out, which uh, would would uh, be in keeping with my multimeter test before I got about 14.4. But as we can see here, as we turn, we're getting a nice bit of current. The capacitors are smoothing it out nicely. If I keep winding, we'll get a nice bit of voltage here. I do find when it runs too fast, it oversaturates and you get a bit of slipping, which is a nice little bit of regulating, but that would be easy to combat by just uh, adding more load to it. But yeah, very simple circuit, and it's a good way of doubling the voltage. If you wanted uh, 6 volts, you could probably parallel connect these and then run a uh, 7805 regulator, bring it down to 5 volts probably quite suitable for charging your phone although uh, in fluctuating wind you'd probably want uh, bigger capacitors anyway that's the simple build video, I'll refer you back to Thingiverse in the comments